fancy seeing you here. I'm Grace Para, and today we are talking about racial and ethnic discrimination. I know, boners down, everybody. This is not a black and white issue, or rather, it's not just a black and white issue. When we talk about racial and ethnic discrimination, we tend to talk about black-white discrimination. And I get why understanding the massive historical reasons behind that specific kind of discrimination, it's imperative, and it is justified in getting all of the attention that it earns. That said, it's awkward as to be like, oh, but guys, all sorts of discrimination against all sorts of people, man, or really they do. But guess what? Let me be real. It does. Take, for example, this year's Oscars controversy. Oscars so white. The hashtag, it makes a point. But people were acting like if Idris Elba had gotten a nomination, that that single-handedly would have fixed things. It was Oscars so white. Not Oscars need more black people, but that's it. Or take the outreach that followed, the, uh, the Bob Marley filter on Snapchat. Was that in poor taste? Oh, f yeah, it was. And then there was a Cinco de Mayo filter that turned you into a taco. Guys, that was in terrible taste, like most Taco Bell tacos, okay? Blackface is in bad taste, but so is taco face. If on Chinese New Year there was a filter that made your face into a pork dumpling, that would be in bad taste too. And I can already hear you college Republicans now, uh, bro, you can't say anything without offending someone anymore. Well, chill the f out, Bradfords. I am just a Mexican woman not wanting to be turned into a taco on Cinco de Mayo. That is not everything is offensive now. That is, this specific thing is dumb and I'm f***ing gonna point it out and call it dumb. And by the way, it is not just Hollywood. It's not just social media. Real people are being affected by this too. During the water crisis in Flint, Michigan, Spanish-speaking residents drank contaminated water weeks after English speakers stopped because no one bothered to translate safety pamphlets into Spanish. Google Translate, guys, it's a thing, it exists. It's not perfect, but frankly, I think that even the word toxico would have gotten the gist across. I get it though. It's easy to forget Latinos are there. There are only 54 million of us in the US. Our buying power is only 1.5 trillion. We are only literally unavoidable, but if it isn't too much of a bother, Put us in some f***ing movies. Take us out of Snapchat filters and translate safety pamphlets. Oh, oh, I do like this one though. Now even every contestant on The Amazing Race is a vlogger instead of the usual smattering of dating couples that frankly should have broken up months ago. Now these social media stars are becoming important not because of what they can do, but because of who they can bring.